so good morning to all of you this is seema singh your computer teacher there is some issue with the camera of my laptop so i am not able to show my face to you all so uh, we had completed the last chapter and the assignment which i had posted uh, in the first attempt some of the answers were wrong actually i was not getting time to correct it that's why i had posted one of the assignment posted by one student so when afterwards i had seen some of the corrections were there which i made and i had told one of the child to post it again and it was done i hope you all have completed the exercises of previous chapter and those who have system or those who could download they have practiced it you can search online if photoshops uh, android version is also available you can practice some to some extent you can also practice it in mobile phone okay but the storage should be more in your mobile phone if you want to download it it's not mandatory i'm showing it you can understand it from there also but if you have you can utilize it okay so we are going to start with the second chapter that is uh, photoshop 2021 advanced here some of the tools uh, will be discussing today which will be used for photographs like one of the uh, uh, tool is your healing brush tool which is used for removing the patches or if your image is torn so uh, you can remove that part of the image or some scratches from the photographs and you can repair okay then we'll use the patch tool patch tool is used to find out suppose on some of the part of the image you want the um, means same type of effect from other part of the image like one source will be there and destination that will discuss later on and finally we'll go for clone stamping tool which will help you to make the cloning means uh, duplicate images in your uh, given image okay so let's start with healing brush tool for that i'll open any image like i have an image of a boy who is uh, having freckles on the face okay this is the image uh, will uh, we can uh, adjust it on the screen like this drag it and the image size we can fit it on the screen with the help of view and then you will use fit on screen or the shortcut control plus zero click on this the image will be in bigger size suppose the image is uh, having scratches in this part or that part so for removing that how you can uh, use the healing brush tool what you have to do only read the steps and you can practice it just go to this part the toolbox and right click on this tool and use healing brush tool okay healing brush tool basically used for removing the scratches marks from the old marks from the photographs i'm not talking about the uh, complexion of the face for that you can use spot healing brush tool okay for healing brush tool for removing the scratches from the images click on this tool once it is clicked you can see that on the option bar some options will come from here you can choose the image size means the brush size okay and then since you want to replace it you click on replace option okay replace okay now the tar suppose this area is torn so i want to make it like this area only for that i'll click on alt key while pressing alt key select the area which you want to be like that like this and now just move the pointer in that area okay so this way if some scratch same way here also if some part you feel that some scratches are there press control sorry alt and then click and then start using it this can you see this so this part we have done wherever you want like so you can go for this uh, suppose this area i want for this only alt click and use wherever you want to remove so this way you can use if you have difficulty as i have already told use zoom and then start doing that this way same with spot healing brush tool can also be used the right click choose spot healing choose the area which you want to replace with by holding control key alt key sorry click on that and then use it okay 
now just uh, go to view and then fit on screen clear so this was healing brush tool now we'll start with the patch tool if you want to undo the changes means uh, backward you want to go then you can use the shortcut key control alt z about 10 number of changes can be removed let's see how many can be removed if after that if it is not getting done you just go to file and then close don't save it otherwise your original image will get defected i had already told you can make a duplicate image like today let me tell you open any image suppose this only open and once it is open you can go to image and duplicate the image name of the image anything you can give boy suppose and then okay so we have this duplicate image previous one you can close so here whatever changes you want to make you can size of the image is small go to view and there fit on screen so that the image size will get increased. clear so now we are going to do the patch tool patch tool is a tool which will help you to like some part of the image you want to patch on another part means one source is there one destination source part you want on the destination okay so how it can be done go to that healing brush tool area right click and choose the option patch tool once it is done just make sure on the option bar it is source reverse can also be done that also i'll show make it source now select the area which you want to patch with like this this way done. now drag it to the area or like which you want it to be suppose this way. so it will be patched for removing this selection press ctrl and d can you see the effect same way for some other area also make that area select that area and then leave the mouse hold left mouse button and drag it to the area like which you want it to be like this area i want it to be and leave it then control plus D. Can you see the effect? Same way for some other area. Like I want this area to be patched. Then drag it to the area like which you want it to be. And leave. And then control plus D. You can see little bit change. Same way this area. Select it. Drag it to the area like which you want it to be. And leave it. Control plus D. So this way you can patch on some areas. Reverse is also possible, which I'll tell in next class. So that the reverse should I tell now only? I hope you will not get confused. Select on destination, select it. Select the area which you want to patch with. Okay, reverse now. Like I want uh, this area to be patched. Reverse will select this area to be replaced on some other area just drag it and replace on the area where you want it to be now control d the reverse can also be done okay so in the beginning make sure source select that area go to the area like which you want it to be and it will be replaced this is your patch tool if you want me to uh, repeat it again let me start with right click on the spot healing brush tool choose patch tool then drag make a shape around the area where you want to patch and then drag it to the area like which you want it to be and leave i hope you all have understood next is your clone stamping tool Clone stamping means if you want to make duplicate images on the same image. Similar to this we had already done with the help of move tool and magnetic lasso tool. But this one is little bit different. Okay. So just close this image and open any other image where cloning can be done in an effective way. I don't want to save changes. I'll go to file and then open. Suppose this image I want open this is the image i'll go to view and fit on screen i'll do now suppose this flower this lotus i want in this area also this area also in on the whole image i want so for that we have to do cloning of the image how it can be done just go to this area this is pen tool and brush tool we had already done just under that 
So just under the brush tool, you will get this clone stamping tool. Click on it. Okay. You might have noticed under these tools when you right click, so many other options are available. So here you have to choose clone stamp tool. Once you have clicked, you just make sure the changes or the options here like brush size and all. I want to make it big. This much big. No more. Yeah, this is okay. Click out. Okay. Now you have to click on the area which you want to clone stamp. For that, again you use Alt key and while holding Alt key, you click on the area which you want to clone. Done. Now drag in the area where you want the same image to be. Like this. Done. Now again if you want Alt and then click. I want in this area. So it will appear there also. I hope you are understanding it. Wherever you want, it can be cloned. Okay. So this way it will clone stamping tool. Practice this much. Then you will understand how it will be done. This aligned option is checked. That's why whenever I was doing it, it was drawn continuously on the screen. If it is deselected, then you have to start it from the sampling point. Just deselect it. Now clone stamp it. Now start. And if you want it to be any other place, this one. okay. So this is your clone stamping tool. So for today, I hope you all have understood it. Next class. We'll start with blur tool, sharpen tool and smudge tool. Thank you and have a nice day.